Hello friends, let's understand the careers that are available in the fintech domain. As we know, the modern fintech as we know for last about two decades is uh, characterized by few things like they are funded by the venture capitalists, they are a part of the startup friendly ecosystem which includes academics, uh, the other industry players etc. Uh, they have a product mindset and most of them aim for a scorching business growth within next few years. What it means that there are better opportunities in fintech, for example, there is a faster career growth, uh, salaries could be very good, uh, the, you can get a satisfaction of innovation and contributing in various ways by you know, developing new products and also since this domain is very well funded as well as it has got government support, you can get create a wealth for yourself and your family. There are four broad areas in which the role and opportunities are available in the fintech domain. These are business development number one, number two technology, number three product management and number four operations. Let's look at each of these areas and what kind of skills are required over there. Number one business development area which means basically acquiring customers. Now this can be done through let's say online customer acquisition which means that you can be somebody who is very good at marketing and digital marketing. For example, somebody who is good at graphic design, somebody who understands how to create a funnel and you know how to lower the cost of customer acquisition, uh, how to for example engage the customers through website running for example website analytics. So you know, somebody with that kind of skills is very much required as a part of a fintech. You can be a part of a team which is sales team or a tech led sales team or could be a part of the team that handles the partnerships and alliances. For example, the fintechs might have few large customers, for example it could be a bank with whom they have a very strong relationship or they want to build a very strong relationship. Then if you know those relationship management skills, account management skills, tech led sales skills very well then you have a very good career opportunity there. So this is first area, you know business development which is around acquiring the customers. The second area is obviously technology because fintechs are basically financial technology companies. In this there are few you know, areas for example data scientists, today data is the new oil right. So if you can look at the data and make a sense out of that you are very much in demand. So data related skills, mathematics, logic, programming these are very much required as a part of somebody who is performing these kind of roles. You could be an integration specialist. For example, most of the fintechs exchange data by using something called application programming interfaces. If you can write very strong, secure, you know, high, highly scalable APIs, then you are very much in demand. You could be an AI ML engineer, artificial intelligence or machine learning engineer who understands how to use, for example, neuro-linguistic programming, etc. Then you could be very much in demand in the fintech area. Or you could be a software developer who understands the full stack, full stack area, uh, you know, who understands, for example, uh, the front end where you can use, for example, Python and few Java, for example, or back end where you can use C++, then you are very much in demand in technology area. Third area in fintech where there is a demand is in the product management and business skills. For example, you could be a product manager or a strategist, for example, who decides what is going to be happening with the product in future, understand the market, what are the trends, how the product release or the phases are to be planned out. You could be a business analyst who understands the business of the domain very well, you know, creating the documentation, creating test cases for the, you know, the programs to be validated. Or you could be, for example, a UI UX engineer who understands how exactly the look and feel of the app has to be, website has to be, so the customers find it very, very friendly and you know, they are attracted to work with you. So, these skills required in this area are like you know management or leadership skills, communication skills, teamwork, process orientation, how to prioritize things you know by using something as basic as a pug matrix as an example right or a documentation skills these are very much important in this product management overall space. The fourth area in fintech which could be very good is you know in the area of operations. For example, you could be an operations analyst, uh, a part of the uh, fintech. For example, if the process fails somewhere, look at it why the process has failed, give a resolution maybe manually. It can of, of course happen. You could be a part of a customer success team which works with certain customers to make sure that the customers are happy. Or you could be in compliance area for example to make sure that all the necessary laws are being complied with. So, if you are in this area, you know, for example, compliance, you need to understand obviously relevant registrations very well. You should be willing to pay attention to details, you know, uh, get into the, let's say, a particular problem area, define it, and you know, solve the problem. You should be process oriented, you should be able to create a proper documentation, and maybe you should have good skills in MS Excel because in many cases, you know, MS Excel is very widely used by people in the operations domain. 
So these are the four broad areas, as I mentioned, you know, uh, the uh, business development area, the technology area, the product management area, and the operations area, where a lot of opportunities are available in the fintech domain. If you understand this very well, you will be able to identify relevant roles and skills required, looking at your own qualification, mindset, and experience, and then develop a great career in fintech. I will develop subsequently a detailed video for each of these job profiles, maybe in each of these areas. And you know, I hope that you, know, you will be able to understand these roles in much better detail at that point in time. I hope you found this video useful. If yes, please do like this video, share with your friends who will benefit from this and also do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Take care and cheers.